Are you tired of buttering your toast by hand like a savage? Have you almost burned your house down 800 times? Hi, I'm William Osman, and today we're going to build a butter toasting, uh, toast buttering ouch, robot. And a special thanks to Benny J2K for sending an entire box of drill motors and a jigsaw motor, which we'll be using today. Here's the CAD model, will give you a general idea of what's going on. The linear stepper motor will move the toast back and forth for buttering, and the jigsaw motor will move the butter back and forth for buttering. It's laser time! Retina Smelter 9000 is my home built laser cutter. I've said that a billion times. It's also a fire hazard. I should probably clean this up. What are we cutting? Okay, let's cut a test piece first. I'm not exactly sure. My, the, the CAD model for the jigsaw motor is really rough. So uh, cardboard I think will save the day. Okay, that works pretty well. So now we can go ahead and cut everything out of wood, I think. None of the wood I have fits on the laser, so I'm gonna have to cut this piece of plywood down. Now the only problem is, I don't have something like a table saw that will do this, so. Laser table saw. All right, right in the smelter 9000, let's do this. I just threw all the stuff on the table like all the pieces were complete, but actually all the pieces are not complete. Uh, haven't really figured out how the jigsaw is going to be mounted, or we kind of know how the jigsaw is going to be mounted, but I don't know how to mount the butter to the jigsaw. And the jigsaw is kind of complicated, so I didn't want to spend a bunch of time modeling it, and I figured, you know, this is like not being used for anything practical. Where is that? Where did that? Did I drop another piece? Oh no, they're all on there. So what we're going to do is build the whole thing up to the point where we need to attach the butter to the jigsaw and then uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you because we're going to figure it out at that point um, or not figure it out and realize I've made horrible mistakes. God, I love putting this stuff together and then it just like works. Look at that. So the spikes are going to hold the bread in place, hopefully. I wish this knife doesn't need to be on here anymore. Nope, it's staying on there. So the motor goes in and I've made these on oh, the wrong side. I've done this backwards, haven't I? You have to keep the shaft from spinning and if you keep the shaft from spinning, the motor will pull it back and forth. So the idea is for it to fit in and then slide in place. Where is that cable? Oh, a check for $50. Oh, there it is. Oh, wrong direction. That's what we wanted. Finish. There we go. Oops, too many steps. We have to get the jigsaw mounted, and the jigsaw mounts are like two fingers that will travel underneath, and that will help hold everything here together, which is why it's falling apart right now. How did I mess this up this bad? There's a whole freaking flange that I completely forgot about. Why is this stuck? Is it just like too much friction or something? The jigsaw motor sits on top of here, and I wish I was joking, but I literally made holes so that we could zip tie it on. And it also looks like I didn't leave enough clearance for those wires on the back. That's, that's pretty wobbly. <laughs> um, if I was zip ties, where would I be? I brought them in yesterday and I probably have lost them already again. I have too much stuff. Zip tie mounts, don't fail me now. That's okay, this is a handy trick. I'm, this is probably not a very surprising trick maybe to some people. If your zip tie is not quite long enough, you take two zip ties. Someone's mind has just been blown. That's not going, that's not going anywhere. That's actually going somewhere. I should probably put more zip ties on it. That's on the pivot mechanism. Oh yeah, that's great, fantastic. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure how to mount the butter to the jigsaw though. So I'm just gonna, I don't know, figure out two little wooden fingers. Uh, let's go CAD.
Okay, I can already tell uh, this piece is gonna have to get cut off. This, this used to be the quick release for taking the blades off, but you can see that's in the way. So I'm gonna cut that off with my dollar store hacksaw, which hopefully is where it's supposed to be, yes. Nice, if I can just... Um. <laughs> We're not done lasering, I take that back. Everyone's gotta put their glasses back on. This time it's got a little bit thicker of an arch. So hopefully I can put it over without... No! Are you... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go a little bit easier on this one. I've made the gap a little bit less Oh God, I should sand it. I'm gonna break it. Oh, it's so close. Don't explode, don't exp Yeah, boy. Now this is in the way by like a lot. So now I have to cut this off. Oh, look, I made a mess. Okay, so now our butter holder is pretty firmly mounted to the jigsaw. The only problem, I made these like little snap-in things. They're not, they don't snap in so well. So worst case scenario, the whole thing just explodes. Oh, I could have put this on from the backside. <laughs> I broke like three of them. All I had to do was just put it there and flip it down. Uh. Uh, what about more zip ties? Yes, all right. This thing's locked and loaded, it's not going anywhere. What is it hitting? Oh, it's hitting the zip tie. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> it's so terrible. What is my purpose? Whoa, not okay, let's unplug that. The toast is in. The butter is in, almost. The butter is in. We'll make sure the toast is pressed into the spikes. Maybe it's too much power. I don't think there's a better design out there, so. <laughs> All right, we've got someone here to test Toastbot. All right, ready? No, you gotta buddy your Chelsea, this is not good toast if you pull it. It doesn't butter, it butters half of it. Yeah, but what does it taste like? I think we should do a taste test. <laughs> oh, I got an idea. What if we just flip it around? It's I feel like I'm gonna break something. You gotta just let it rip though. Don't yep. be scared, let it rip. Just trigger, baby. Hold that thing down. Mm, I don't like it. I don't like it. Look, that's a nice, healthy it's... layer of butter. Perfect. You want some? No. You want some, cameraman? Um, and thanks again to Benny J2K for the jigsaw motor. If you have a terrible science project idea, leave it in the comments below. Um, that's it. Bye. <laughs>